a another uh, unboxing. This time it is of the uh, Unicorn Gundam uh, red and green twin frame edition titanium finish. Uh, this day is awesome, and I actually just got I actually got this about a week ago from my wife as a birthday present, which is awesome. Uh, I also got a, a bunch of other things, but yeah, those are not uh, particularly compound related. Well, they are. They actually have some paneling markers and stuff like that, but really, it's you know, uh, that's not really stuff to put on a channel. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I love, I actually need new panel line markers. She got, oh, okay. Quick mention is that she got me three sets of Copic markers, brown, uh, brown, multicolored, and black of each of different sizes from 0 .00, 0 0.03 all the way up to one on all four different, uh, all three different things. And each of them come with four markers. So. Anyways, it's awesome. Uh, I definitely love her for that and everything. So, yes, and this is awesome. And I love the, the way this box looks because it's all hologrammy, if you can see that. It's actually completely different than the Sananji box. That's not really hologrammy. Uh, but yeah, it looks really and awesome. And you can actually see uh, somewhat of the PG poster that's above this. Uh, it's awesome looking and it looks so shiny and so okay uh, let's uh, get right down to actually seeing what's on the side of the box um, uh, let's zoom in a bit there we go there we go zoom in zoom in uh, there we go, there is pretty much just the gimmicks, and they're actually in English this time. Uh, so that you can uh, open up it, and it'll actually show all the uh, extra bits, and it's showing that it has the red and green psycho frame. And actually, give me one second, this the thing's going a little weird. I had to extend my camera a bit to the highest point in order to... Uh, get these, get this on video, but uh, I think that's good. But there you go. Now you can see that a lot better. And I just knocked off uh, some of Toggy's gun. His, his gun. Uh, but there you go. We can read it really quick. Oh, missed it. Uh, showing off the green frame right there, the front view of the green frame, looking amazing. There's a unicorn mode of the, this is the red frame version I'm guessing. And then they have the red frame destroy mode showing off, front and back. Looking quite awesome anyway. Let's see if we can... Yes, looking good, looking good. This side is just a, a shot of the unicorn itself. And are you focusing? Yes, you are. And then, boom. Gimmick shot. So, oh, there, there is. It's, I think it's a little bit hard for it just to focus on because of the, uh, and because of the reflective nature of this. But there's English on the box, and it looks awesome. And it shows the transformation of the head. And then, there you go. And then it shows the price. It retails for 12,000 yen, which is actually quite expensive. So there we have that. Uh, looking awesome. And there's a really nice shot of Unicorn. And yeah, let's get this open and see what's inside. Boom. Looking awesome. Uh, oops, oops, hit the camera. Togi's move out of the way. Ah, I knocked his thing. 
uh, review of uh, this. I'm gonna move it for a second. Review of this guy is coming soon. I actually just finished him in my uh, downtime. Uh, awesome figure. It is the. It's not a bit bad. That one. It is the Dragon Momoka one that they came out with a year beforehand, uh, before Bandai released their own. Um, this guy has some loose stuff, loose joints, loose everything, kind of, not everything, but uh, quick review. Yeah, that was a pain in the butt to put on. Loose ankles, kind of back heavy. Um, yeah, but awesome figure other otherwise. But if you can, uh, pick up the Bandai one instead. Definitely pick up the Bandai one instead. It looks exactly the same. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get right down to it. I did open some of the box, the bag, so you don't get all the crinkle, 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 and I kill your ears. So, okay. First off, you see the frames. You got the red and the green. You got the Christmas colors of uh, unicorn. Uh, if you want, you can actually put them on at the same time, uh, mix and match, because make it a Christmas uh, version. So I'm not going to do that, but uh, yeah, uh, looking really good. And then you have the uh, marvelous, marvelous. Um, we're going to get a closer look at these really quick at the second after this, but you get the marvelous gunmetal gray. Uh, Plastic, uh, the nice metallic gunmetal gray. I love this color on a unicorn. Um, I'm, I was actually doing a custom banshee that's still in the box because I was doing it in gloss black and spray cans, and then I moved, and then it's not really a place for me to spray paint anymore. That's why I have an airbrush booth, a spray booth. Um, but yeah, I think I might just bite the bullet with that and then find a spot to do it. And yeah, so that's uh, done. Because it looks, I've done the body and it looks freaking awesome. Because it's just gloss black. I mean, this is black uh, banshee uh, with the green frame and this color psycho frame. Uh, not psycho frame, frame itself. Anyways, uh, this kit is awesome. I love this color. It's just so good. And I wish like all Gunpla, Master Grade Gunpla was on in this color. The frames anyways. Um, but need it. Obviously red frame makes make this like not gun metal but make it like a red metallic or something. So good. This, this looks so good and I love the detail on it. I love painting this uh, with all the extra details and it comes out so well. Um, much like the clear new Gundam did. So, and then they have this color, which they did the weapon in a different color, which is awesome as well. Um, there, since this is a lighter one, you can actually see the swirls of the uh, plastic there. Uh, still really cool looking. Uh, still like the pool, what they pooled them or not. Uh, I wish they did like an agitation when they were doing this. But yeah, so awesome. Uh, and then they have the, let me get a good, a good one. The frame part, the actual armor parts, which look amazing. And they've actually done this. They've actually have a new way of doing. This is the I think this is the first one they said. Um, I think the perfect grade Fenix also had this finish. But on it. Uh, yeah, they have actually a thing in English about the titanium finish and how they actually achieved this titanium finish. Um, which because it looks freaking awesome. Look at that. Let's look at that right there on the shield. It looks awesome. Um, I just like 
it, the pretty much patterns everything for you, but it looks so well done. Um, okay, so this is what they did for this kit. I'm actually going to put a picture of this over here so you can read it when I'm reading it. Uh, there's actually a, four different things, but I'm just going to read the first one that, ta that talks about it. First paragraph. So, okay. Metal plating has arrived as a surface finish for Gundam plastic models. This is a high-end specification that gives the completed model a metallic gloss and feel that cannot be achieved by modelers using paints. Traditionally, clear color paints have been used to, as a cop coat to add color to metal plating while preserving the metallic feel. However, with this model, we use a new kind of finish in which color pigments are blended with titanium. In the Universal Century era, Gundam suits are armored with metallic, with material called Gundarium. This alloy was also known as Luna Titanium, and the titanium finish name comes from this. So basically, they actually put actual titanium inside this, which is awesome. And they actually have a picture of the uh, machine right here. There you go. There you go. They, what they also do, they actually vacuum seal. They also use aluminum to actually create the metal, to actually metallic look to it. Uh, aluminum is heated and then melted in a vacuum to create a mist that coats the sprues. You'll be able to do that normally. A normal Gumpla modeler will not be able to create this finish uh, without having a vacuum. Be able to create a vacuum in order to uh, coat these brews correctly. So, uh, now enough about this uh, yeah. kit, me and me gushing over it. It is awesome. It is amazing. Uh, but let's actually take a real close look at these and uh, yeah, you'll be see yeah, to see exactly uh, the detail on this. Now First off, though, we're going to take a look at. Let's get bring it all the way down. And zoom back out. Uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, decals that come in the kit. Oh, it says the decals. We have to zoom in. There we go. Uh, as traditional with a unicorn kit, it comes with these stickers. Uh, four for the V fin, uh, one for the eyes, and then four for the uh, cameras on them. Then we have the uh, dry transfer decals, which are uh, awesome looking. Um, most a lot of the extra caution symbols and everything, which looks really really cool. And then you have the uh, regular stickers, the warning labels, and whatnot. There we go. Uh, which look really nice. So, I don't know if we can get it in any closer. There you go. Quick, uh, super close look. This, but I think it's as close as I'm going to get it. Get it at the decals. Um, we actually have a quick, really close look at these as well for you guys. Um, make it to look at to see what they actually are. Uh, they look really nice, and can't wait to apply these. So, okay, that's all for the decals. Only three sheets. Uh, so yeah. First off, first up in the. First, we gotta zoom back out again. Zoom up a teeny bit and then lock this in place. And there you go, so it doesn't freak out. Uh, is that we have the psycho frame. Uh, so that is the B runner, which I accidentally did it backwards, but you know. 
That's the uh, green bee runner. Looks like really nice. Let's see, let me zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So, uh, looks like really nice. Lots of detail on the kit on this, and yeah. There's the bee. back side of it. So now, actually, now we're gonna do the the red frame. So we're just going to take a look at these quickly because of the fact that it is the same exact runner. And I don't know if this the neon is coming out way, coming through better. So there we go. And then we have the A runner. Okay. And then here we have the green frame A runner. Looking good, looking good. Then, okay, I kind of wanted to put these in order, but yeah, I wanted to do the frame parts first, so. Here we have the uh, K runner. With all the detail, it's all for the legs. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much is for the legs. I've built um, built and then customized gun unicorn Gundams for quite a bit, uh, quite a few. So uh, yeah, it's all for legs except for like two. Uh, no, that's not. I think it looks like it's all for legs. Yep, yeah, all for the legs. So, looking awesome. Next up we have is the eye runner, which is for the body. This is actually this. Uh, this right here. Yeah. I do with that. You know what? That was stupid for me. Anyways, okay. Oh, there it is. Craziness, craziness, craziness. Stupid for me. Okay. And right here, this is for the torso. Uh, so for the chest, and so you get the transformation gimmick. Get stuff for the shield. Here's all everything for the shield. Uh, it looks like. More for this is right here for the chest. That is actually for the. That's the. Stand, adapter, so, it's stand adapter. You got that for the beam sabers, beam sabers, back clip to secure transformation either in unicorn or destroy mode. That is the waist joint. So, uh, looking really good, uh, especially with the shield parts. Here we have the H runner, which is actually, uh, for the most part, the uh, waists. Uh, you got the, yeah. Here's for this is the crotch part. This is the waist part that attaches to the side skirts, back skirt, front skirt. Uh, let me see. That's actually for the face. Face. This is for the eyes. This is for the uh, camera, where the camera goes. And yeah. Okay, really good. This is for the waist parts itself that actually, when you are transforming them, the actual uh, they don't, the legs don't stay like this. They actually go like that. Uh, and the Transformation to actually give it more uh, articulation, both in the show and in the complicate. Next up, we have is the J Runner. J Runner is just a bunch of bits and bobs for the inner frame, uh, but it's mostly the the arm bits right here. This is that holds the beam sabers. Here's the elbow joint. 
Here is the uh, point that connects the shoulder to the body. Here's the shoulder parts. Uh, you got the hands right here, right here. And I believe this is for the arms, that's for the hands. So look really, really good. And here's parts for the shoulder as well. Here's the thumb and the forefinger. Looking really good. I will definitely need a drink of water soon. Here's more parts for the leg. So this is the L runner. Uh, you got parts for the feet, foot, foot. Uh, this is for the ankle. Uh, this right here also for the right for the foot. I think that's for the foot as well. Uh, then you have a bunch of joints. This is actually for the armor for the foot on the outside. And it's for the front foot cover. So looking really, really nice, everything on here. Uh, so really nice, done. Now we have the end runner, which is 90% uh, French like all the weapons because they're all done in this cool color. Uh, so uh, front of the beam barrel, they got the hyper bazooka, you got the points where the rockets go, the rockets themselves, the barrel of the gun, and most parts that you can obviously see make up the gun right here. This is the front of the gun handle. Uh, awesome. Very, very nicely detailed on this. I uh, could have done without the swirl on the uh, part itself, but still looking really nice with that color. Now we have a different gray part, uh, which is actually welcome. And then you have the ammo crates for the ammo uh, clips for the gun. But yeah, this, this is all for the, right here is the thrusters, and this is for the torso part as, as well, and for the neck. And, oh, here, huh, they actually did the seat. This is the seat right here, so I get a closer look on that. Come on, there you go. There's the seat. Uh, that's actually it's actually nicely detailed on it. Uh, so I don't know if you can see it, but that is actually nicely detailed. So really nicely done, and they actually um, have the. the three monitors uh, that you get, that the uh, Benaji gets in the show. So really got nicely done. Now we actually get to the armor parts. Um, all the armor parts in this are actually put, are actually in their own separate bags. I don't remember the Sinanji doing this. I remember it being, uh, Bags inside of bags, inside of bags, to not ruin the parts. Uh, but yeah, now everything is separated in its own bag, without bags inside of bags. So, but yeah, these parts look amazing. Let's get a little bit of zoom on that. So, uh, all like I said, all this is done with the new way to coat things. The only bad thing is it's still undergated. So. They did this without uh, modifying the actual part itself, but then if they did modify it, it would make it even more expensive. Uh, one second, I'm gonna take a quick bite of this so I can get some, uh, getting a dry throat here. So.
I love the blue on this too. Here we have the D runner. So uh, I just love all the the detailing that this finish makes it because of the fact that it's white paint layered on top of like a chrome uh, titanium slash aluminum finish. So. Uh, it, it actually doesn't go on, it doesn't cover the corners all that well, the actual corners itself on the pieces, and make them uh, into a somewhat panel line itself, uh, making it look that much more detailed. Let's get a closer look at, like, say, the shield here. You actually mostly won't see much much of that, but the parts that you will see are actually done really nicely. And then you have this part right here, which it's kind of look a little, little bit dirty, but it makes the detailing on that look so good, I think. Anyways, my opinion, uh, it could be, it doesn't have to be yours. Uh, I just can't wait to get this kit done. Um, like I said, my birthday was, uh, July 10th, and you actually see more of the uh, metallic on this piece right here. Uh, my birthday was on July 10th, and I actually got this on July 10th and been wanting to build it. Uh, but just been, but uh, I've been too busy to actually create a video. So, but now I created the video, and after this, I'm going to start the building. So, excited. I am, I, here, here we have the F runner, looking good with all that de detail yet again, uh, this looks like it's all for the, it's all of it's for the legs, this whole runner right here, so, except for this, except for this part right here, that's for the arm, right, no, 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 that's, this is all for the leg. My fault, my fault. All for leg. Uh, I tend to actually not get much uh, uh, excited much on when I get things or when things happen or anything like that because uh, I used to get, when I was younger, I used to get crazy excited about things. I wasn't a hyper kid at all. Um, and I was actually really shy and meek kind of kid, always the introvert, always in the corner doing his own thing, the drawing, reading comics, or, you know, playing video games. Didn't really hang out with it, a lot, anybody. Um, but when, if I got excited about something, I got, like, super excited about things, and then uh, I would get picked on because of it when I was younger. And then I kept getting picked on, picked on, and then I stopped being crazy excited over things because I started getting embarrassed about embarrassed about it. So but then over the years I you know, parents stopped getting embarrassed about a lot of things. Like they you know, started getting stopped getting excited about a lot of things that normally I would be excited about. Or I would keep it in and then uh yeah. And then people, if like if I got a birthday present that I really liked, people would ask if I liked it or if I was upset or something like that. And really, I am like jumping for joy inside. It's just outside. I don't really look that impressed or surprised or anything like that. So, uh, but yeah, I was crazy, uh, crazy excited when I got this. 
I know it's my wife. I should be able to show her my excitement because, you know, she loves me for me and everything. It's just, that's just how I became, you know, from all the things. But, uh, but yeah. But thank you, sweetie. I know you, I know you, you watch this. Uh, you're one of my biggest watchers. Uh, so, uh, shout out to you. I love you. Thank you for this. I am super excited about it and super excited to uh, build it on so, our. So, another quick thing. I know, lots of personal stuff today. Personal hour. So, this is, uh, this is the Sea Runner. Sorry, this is a guy. Sorry, guys, this is going on so long. It's just. Uh, let me get, there you go. Um, first time, uh, first birthday that we had, that I had with, I think it was first birth, birthday. First birthday or first, no, it was, it was definitely Christmas. First Christmas that I had with her going, you know, with, when I was going out with her uh, years ago, years ago, uh, going on, I don't know, I don't want to get in trouble here. <laughs> uh, but anyways, first Christmas, she actually got me the Master Grade uh, Unicorn Cage Virgin, the one that came with the actual cage to hold all the weapons and everything for Unicorn, and she got me that, so Unicorn's always been like sentimental to me because of that. So, and then Unicorn uh, is what actually got me back into Gumpla and everything. So, but awesome looking on this thing. So, I'm loving the head. Look at this uh, right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it though, it's like not really showing up on camera much. Like the the one the, the way they did the the, the the titanium part is that some of the parts actually look like they're semi weathered because of it. But it looks just looks so good and yeah. Ah, yeah, this looks so awesome. Um yeah. Also, like I was saying Went to Disney World with my family. Went to Japan, you know, Epcot. And then uh, I saw the Unicorn Gundam Burst Mode, Destroy Mode. The limited edition with the head. You know, with the head. That's a 140-something scale. 142nd, I think. Anyways, it's the one that comes with the stand with the Unicorn head. I saw that at Disney World. It was like $55, 60 bucks, And... Uh, it was the high grade version, you know, and I got it, and that thing was awesome, and yeah, like that, that right there brought me back into Gumpla, and it's an awesome kit, and I've actually, I don't have that kit per se uh, built anymore, it's because that I've used that in so many customs. Uh, obviously, here is the E runner. This is all for the arms, looking really good. But yeah, like I said, I don't have that kit anymore. It's been used in like several different customs. Uh, was painted twice before I did the customs. And yeah, uh, but that's the kit that got me back into Gumpla, so. So Unicorn's always been like sentimental for me because it, uh, it was the first major kit that my now wife got me back when we were first going out and it was brought me back into Gunplay itself. So. Here we go. I do enjoy that these are all in their own separate bags, so I don't have to take them out. This is obviously the E runner. It's the duplicate of the runner that I just showed you. Uh, it's all for the arms. Uh, this is the arm cuffs, the uh, 
the arms for this. It's not on this. Actually, this part right here. This goes onto here. These are the shoulder bits where the psycho frame goes. And yeah. There, there you go. And then we have the last piece, which is the extra leg parts uh, for and the head parts. Uh, for it, right here we got, I think this is the parts that they headed for. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Well, these are these parts we don't use right here. These are the parts that are from the old unicorn, from the, the uh, original unicorn, not from the OVA, which they fixed when they fixed the legs. So. And that's pretty much it about this unboxing right here. And obviously here's the manual with the awesome shot on here. And then me just playing around coloring with markers. And maybe doing this. I was thinking of doing something like this as like a custom uh, because of the fact that I still have the Fenix, the MG Fenix done. Um, I'm actually gonna kind of use the red or green frame on this. I'm going to be using the blue frame from the Fenix because I think it'll look a lot nicer with the titanium finish on here. And I might just actually be adding some gold parts and making my own unicorn because I don't know why, but I've always loved to customize the unicorn. Uh, so, and I use the gold marker to kind of access and accent it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's it for this unboxing of the Master Grade RXO Unicorn uh, Titanium Finish with the red and green frame that comes inside the package. Uh, it's an awesome kit. It's, it's no doubt about it. Unicorn, Master Grade Unicorn is an awesome kit. I actually yet to have the Perfect Grade Unicorn itself. Uh, I do have the Debatten, what was it, Debatten Hobby? What's this? The band model. It's right underneath the desk, so I had to look at it. The Debatten model PG Fenix. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, definitely thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Let me know what you think of the. Unicorn and Gundam as a Gunpla, as a mobile suit in your series. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, uh, the website, obviously here on YouTube. All the links to those are in the description below. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps more than you know. I'm trying to get better at videos, but obviously... Uh, Life gets in the way and whatnot. So, um, and then some days it's just way too tired to actually make a video. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like again, hit that like, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check me out on all the links in the description below. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what do you think of the video in general of my channel. What do you want to see? What do you don't want to see? What's annoying? What's not annoying? And also what is going on in your life since I've shared a little bit of my life with you with you guys today. So uh, that about wraps it up for this unboxing. Uh, until next time guys, keep building and keep playing.